A good piano is not just a fantastic instrument to play and enjoy, it's also a beautiful piece of furniture. And like any fine furniture, it requires some tender loving care to retain that showroom new look that made you fall in love with it in the first place. In this video, we're going to show you how piano stores keep their pianos in such sparkling shape and how, with the minimum of effort and a few secret weapon chemicals, you can do the same for your home piano. We'll also explain why you shouldn't use certain chemicals or equipment to clean your baby. And if this video helps you, all we ask is that you leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and let us know in the comments below. Your feedback really helps us grow and make more helpful videos like this one. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the all bell so you'll be notified when our next video debuts. So, are you ready to learn the quick and safe way to clean and maintain your piano's delicate finish? Great! Let's get started. Pro tip! Pianos come in one of three primary finish types, and each has its own care process. Before you clean your piano, you'll want to make sure you've properly identified its finish type. A matte or satin sheen gives off very little reflection. It has a brushed look, like brushed aluminum. A high polish or gloss finish, on the other hand, is very reflective, like a mirror. The third finish type, for our purposes, is the open pour finish. This is most common on wood finish upright pianos, and you can easily identify it by its uneven surface. From the right angle, you can easily see the finished pores. Of course, if you're unsure, you can always ask your local piano dealer or technician. Once you've identified your piano's finish, it's time to collect your supplies. The first thing you need is a duster and some cleaning cloths. We recommend this long-handled HDX microfiber duster from Home Depot. It's inexpensive, washable, and eventually disposable. For satin finishes, we recommend the orange or gray HDX microfiber cloths from Home Depot and Corey's Satin Sheen Cleaning Spray, available online or at your local piano store. For high polish finishes, we recommend the soft blue microfiber cleaning cloths from Walmart, the Meguiar's Quick Wax, and Meguiar's No. 34 Final Inspection Auto Detailing Spray. Both of the Meguiar's products are available online or in most auto parts stores. For pianos with open pour finishes, we recommend the Meguiar's No. 34 Final Inspection Spray and the Orange or Gray HDX Microfiber Cloths from Home Depot. Finally, stop by your local pharmacy and get a small bottle of over-the-counter hydrogen peroxide and some round cloth pads to clean your piano keys. Now, we're ready to get started. Pro Tip Your piano's finish is very delicate, and there are certain products you should never use to clean it. Pledge and other common furniture sprays will leave a waxy buildup on your piano that can only be removed by a professional finish technician. It's best to avoid that expense. It's also important to avoid solvents like ammonia or bleach at all costs. They can damage your piano's finish over time, leading to even more expensive finish repairs. You should also avoid using anything with citrus in it for similar reasons. Finally, avoid putting objects of any kind on your piano, including pots, vases, drinks, and pictures, as these will damage your piano's finish over time and can even harm the delicate parts inside the instrument. Safely cleaning your satin finished piano is a piece of cake, as long as you use the right equipment. First, remove any dust particles from the piano surface with the long-handled HDX microfiber duster. It's important not to swirl the dust around on the piano surface, as that can lead to microsurface scratches and a dull looking finish over time. Instead, whisk the dust away from the piano surface in line with the grain or tiny lines in the piano's finish. Once you're finished dusting, you'll want to put your duster in the sink for a good washing. Never dust your piano with a dirty duster. Ooh. Next, lightly spray some satin sheen onto an orange or gray microfiber cloth and move it across the piano surface in line with the grain. A little satin sheen will go a long way, so use it sparingly, and don't press too hard. The chemical will remove finger oils and dirt as you go. You don't have to scrub. Gently rub along the grain with your damp cloth until you've covered the surface area you wish to clean, and then follow up with a dry microfiber cloth. Make sure you pick up as much moisture as you can with the dry cloth, and be careful never to leave droplets or pools of liquid on the surface. And, as always, wipe along the grain. 
If you follow these instructions, you can complete a full piano cleaning in under 20 minutes with very satisfying results. And between full cleanings, you can spot clean your piano with a clean microfiber duster and a damp microfiber cloth. Cleaning your piano keys is also very simple. Just dab a bit of hydrogen peroxide onto a cotton pad and wipe your piano keys starting at the fallboard or back of the keys and moving forward towards the front of the piano. Make sure you don't put too much peroxide into the cotton pad and don't press too hard. You never want any kind of liquid to drip down onto the wood part of your piano keys. Follow up with a dry cloth and you're done. Over-the-counter hydrogen peroxide is safe for piano keys so you can use this method to clean them as often as needed. Just remember never to use any kind of bleach or ammonia products or products containing citrus and never leave moisture on the keys. The mirror-like sheen of a high polish or gloss piano requires a completely different care regimen. In some ways, it's like maintaining the clear coat on a fine automobile, but without the rigors of outdoor living. Start like we did with the satin sheen piano, with a careful dusting. Whisk the dust away from the piano's finish with the long-handled HDX microfiber duster moving in straight lines across the piano's surface. There's no grain to follow here, but you don't want to use a circular motion that can leave swirl lines in your finish. Just gently whisk the dust away until you've removed as much as you can. You can also use a damp microfiber cloth, we recommend the soft blue ones from Walmart, followed by a dry microfiber cloth to dust your piano. Either way, make sure your dusting tools are clean oh. and free of anything oh. that might scratch the piano surface before you begin. Once you've finished dusting your piano, it's time to use our Meguiar's Quick Wax. Close the piano up and spray some of the quick wax onto the piano's finish. Make sure you never get any of this inside the piano or onto exposed keys or wood surfaces. Only spray the gloss parts of the piano. If you're cleaning areas where spraying the finish isn't feasible, spray a cloth and gently rub the wax onto the piano surface. Gently rub the wax along the finish in straight lines until you've covered the piano surface. Grab a dry microfiber cloth and gently wipe off all of the wax. Make sure you don't leave any dribbles or residue on the piano surface as they'll require professional cleaning to remove once they dry. In fact, it's a good idea to wax the piano in smaller sections so you don't accidentally forget a spot or give the wax too much time to dry before you wipe it off. After you've wiped off the excess wax, your piano should sparkle. Keep in mind that you only have to apply this wax a couple of times per year. Between waxing, you can clean your piano with Meguiar's number 34 final inspection and a soft blue microfiber cloth. Just spray a small amount of final inspection onto the gloss part of your piano or into the cloth itself if you're worried about getting it inside the piano or on exposed wood surfaces and gently wipe in straight lines along the piano surface. You'll see the chemical evaporating behind you. There's no need to scrub. It's a quick and simple clean. For spot cleaning, just use a damp microfiber cloth followed by a dry one. Never leave the surface wet. Pro tip. It's okay to use an extended handle Swiffer duster in a pinch, but Swiffer dusters are impregnated with pledge, and with regular use, they can leave an oily residue on your piano surface. This residue can only be removed by a professional finish technician, so it's best to avoid long-term Swiffer duster use. Now let's talk about those open pour finishes. You don't want to clog your piano's pores with wax, so we recommend a combination of methods for these finishes. Start out with a gentle dusting using the HDX microfiber duster we recommend it. Whisk the dust away along the grain lines in the piano's finish, and remember to only ever use a freshly cleaned and dry duster on your piano. Next, spray some Meguiar's number 34 final inspection onto an orange or gray HDX microfiber cloth from Home Depot and gently rub along the grain until you've covered the piano surface. Remember, let the cleaner do its work. You don't have to scrub. Finally, follow up with a dry microfiber cloth until you've removed all of the moisture from your piano surface. That's it. Piece of cake. You can use this method to clean your piano as often as you want and you can spot clean with a damp microfiber cloth followed by a dry one. Pro tip. Not only is it a bad idea to use a dirty duster, it's a bad idea to use dirty microfiber cloths. Make sure you wash or replace your cloths regularly so you're not grinding old dirt into your piano surface. Swirling dust and dirt into your piano's finish will cause scratches and dull your finish over time. This is easily avoidable by simply using clean cleaning equipment. Take care of your piano's finish and you'll be amazed at how beautiful it looks. 
even after decades of use. Keep your piano away from anything that could damage its finish, like liquids, keys, toys, cell phones, purses, etc. And you'll not only maintain your piano's factory shine, you'll also help maintain its resale value. Looking for more piano care tips? Feel free to ask us in the comments below or check out the piano care section of our blog at blog.rivertonpiano.com. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you learned some valuable piano care techniques, and as always, we encourage you to check out more of our videos before you go. May the love of music lead you to life's greatest joy. We'll see you next time.